Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We got Allison in here with us this morning and her husband, Greg, referred her in here to us for a herniated disc. She's had low back pain and lightning bolt sciatica going down into her left leg, all the way into her ankles, correct? Your ankle, I should say. And she's been to other chiropractors who turn her on her side and twist her doing that side posture lumbar roll. We don't do that here. And her husband being the crack addict that he is, Greg, referred her in here to get this done today. We just finished her history and examination. Was that more thorough than you've had previously? For sure. Yeah. So we did do the diagnosis today, just from the orthopedic neurological examination, that she does in fact have a herniated disc at L5-S1, which is compressing and pinching on the S1 nerve that goes down into her calf. And she gets some tingling in that calf occasionally as well. That's known as paresthesia. She gets some compensatory tightness in her thoracic spine all the way up into her upper thoracic spine and lower cervical spine. She gets headaches every once in a while, every couple of months. But she complained of mostly left sacral and sacroiliac joint pain right down in that left SI joint region, which I'll show you that on the exam, how you can differentiate sacrum and SI joint from lumbar spine. Okay, let's show them your posture first, Allison. Let's have you close your eyes and bend your head forward and backwards for me again. And then back to neutral. Okay, so her head's forward. It's also translated to the left. That's why her left shoulder's dropped down and her left hand looks longer than her right one. It's the same length. It just looks imbalanced because of the translation in her cervical spine. And the longer she has her eyes closed, you can see her head drifts forward more. Go ahead and open your eyes and look in the mirror. Now remember this, because we're going to look at this afterwards too. So your pelvis shifted left. Mm -hmm. You got more room here, no room over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is, I'm just gonna show you how we diagnose sacral and SI joint subluxations versus lumbar. Let's go ahead and lean back on you. Tell me for me, Allison. So when the patient's laying prone, we always check leg length and her left leg is shorter by about a quarter of an inch in this prone position, almost half an inch. And we go up here and it gets even and that tightens up in her low back and pelvis and thighs a little bit, doesn't it, Allison? Yes. So, and also that uh, leg got even, more even, so that's indicative of a left sacroiliac joint subluxation and positive noculus indicates lumbosacral subluxations. So this is the differentiating test that really helps us define exactly where that subluxate. Lift this right leg up for me again, Allison. Okay, so that tightens up, but then she's able to get it up a little higher. Do this left one now. You see how that stopped right there? You felt tighter on that left side, huh? Yes. So that indicates she's got a left posterior sacrum, which I'm gonna be adjusting first. And that compensates up into her lumbar spine. She's got most of her pain right down there at L5, huh? Yes. And that's this is herniated. We did a straight leg raise test on her as well. And that was positive on that left side as well. So I'm going to start with her left SI joint. Sacrum. Right SI joint. Sacrum. Some of these might be a little sore at first, Allison, just because they've been out for a while but they'll feel better when I adjust them. Okay. Yeah, boy, that one was. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, you're gonna make me work for them today, aren't you? <laughs> A little deeper in person, huh? Mm -hmm. See, exactly even already. I bet you this feels a little easier than that first one did. It does. Okay. We'll move up into your cervical spine, Allison. There we go. Good. Okay, let's turn you on your back, please. The only thing I would request, Greg, don't be doing ring dingers on her at home. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't even had her first ring dinger yet, but it's coming. There we go. Slide down this way just a tad. No, that's too far from about an inch. There you go. Now put both arms out like this. And adjust your shoulders, your clavicles, and your 
interiors. Yes, ma'am. You can relax your hands right there now. Let this right leg go like a limp ray. Just let go. There we go. Now, you should have felt that from your knee all the way up to your lower back, did you? I did. Okay, let go of this one a little bit more. There we go. Feel that one as well? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's set you up face that way. Sideways, remember? There you go. Was that easier getting up sideways? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, still hurting a lot though, huh? Mm -hmm. She is still in what we call acute pain. It's duration of three months or less. But it doesn't feel like she's been acute, huh? Feels like it's been with you forever. <laughs> We adjust everything here. There we go. All right, Allison, now for the big one. Oh. Come over this way. Lay on your back on this table with your butt right there. Hand up this way, please. So this one, I want to decompress your entire spine from your skull all the way down to your pelvis. Come down about another inch, there you go. Let your legs just relax, the table's gonna lift them up. This is how I recommend you start sleeping too, by the way. With your legs up, it relaxes the paraspinals. Okay. With your head all the way back, you've got a normal forward lordosis in your cervical spine as well. Lift your legs up a little more, there we go. You relax these guys here. Pin you in with these big old pins. Yep. This is gonna feel tight out soon, it's supposed to. Yeah, you're not going anywhere now. <laughs> On this one, just need to remember keep your teeth together. Don't bite your tongue. Uh -huh. You'll be all right. Scared. No heads on my trophy. Oh, yeah, I won't start with you. Were you left ear? There it is. Oh. Yes, ma'am. That's why we call ring dinger. I ring the bell every time. <laughs> you did feel that all the way down, didn't I you? Did. Look at your reflexes already. Oh. You see how they improved from what they were over there? So that's a good sign. Okay. You'll be all right. Deep breath through your nose, out your mouth. Mm -hmm. Let me have you. You weren't near as big a drama queen as Greg said you would be. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't say anything about that. She made it up. Because <laughs> we do get some drama queens in here. It's pretty dramatic, though, huh? Yeah, it was pretty dramatic. Yep. Let me help you up sideways. Again, bring your legs over sideways. That should have felt easier that time. It did. Yeah, wait till you stand up now. You should feel a little lighter already, too. I do. Good. Let's come over here and stand in front. I'm still going to shoot you, though. Okay. Ooh. I'm going to use this instrument to bounce your muscle spindles here. This will help relax and calm down your paraspinal muscles. Just see these sore spots in there. And that left glute. Okay. Now I'm going to show you your homework. Your head's forward and left, which is what's pulling your shoulders forward, causing you to have increased stress on this spine. Shoulders up and back like this. Now hold those there, please. Flare these like that. See how that tightens up that whole trapezius muscle? Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna come straight back. Your left, so we got a little right, and then look backward. You're gonna fit, no, don't tilt oh, your head oh, though. Oh, oh. There you go. That a girl. Now, relax and do the forward and backwards again. That should have felt smoother, but you tell me. It does. Mm -hmm. Okay, look in the mirror now without moving your hands. So you're not all the way up against it anymore. Mm -hmm. You got more room here and here. See so your hands more back on your pelvis now too? Mm -hmm. They're not out here like they were before at yeah, first? Yeah, that's true. Well, this is your very first Johnson Biophysics adjustment. How would you describe this experience compared to what you've had with other chiropractors? way better definitely worth it in what way how would you describe your ring dinger experience? it's much more dramatic and i think it's what i was looking for for that instant decompression to take that compression off the nerve yeah take it off the nerve does your butt and leg feel any better yet it does as you know it does <laughs> so we are accepting now herniated disc patients because tristan is here now too dr went i'm here monday through wednesday he's here monday through friday and friday's 
close at 2 from 9 to 2. You can go to our website at advancedhoustonchiropractor.com and fill out a new patient request form. Or you can call or text 281-405-2611. Right, Shiloh? Yes. <laughs> and you can get appointments now on the phone, which Renee and I never used to do that, so that's a great option for you guys to be able to do. Did you call or do the email? I call. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she answered the phone, huh? Yep. Cool. <laughs> so we are accepting new patients now because there's two of us to take care of Dr. Wentz right next door in the identical room doing the same thing that I'm doing. So how would you describe your overall experience at ACR here today? I think it was great. I've been watching the videos and I kind of knew. Crack at it too. <laughs> I know. Like I was a little nervous coming into it, yeah. but I feel like it was exactly what I wanted. I felt like he listened to my symptoms and was able to diagnose the problem quickly yes. and effectively. Without having to order an MRI. Exactly. Yeah. Because you can diagnose most patients biomechanical conditions if you do a thorough history and examination, which we always do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people spend thousands and thousands finding out they have a herniated disc when we could have told you that just from an exam and saved you money. Plus, if you save money getting this done versus having surgery, that's huge. Mm -hmm, for sure. Or even epidural steroid injections, they want to charge you like 7500 bucks a pop. Mm -hmm. So, well, thank you for sharing your first experience with everyone thank today, you. Allison. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Greg Johnson, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas, with Allison, also from Houston, Texas. We'll see y'all soon.